Welcome everyone, it's Oliver. Thank you so much for coming out to another Seven Days to Die Let's Play. We left off with uh, some forge workings. We got back from the trader. We did a little che cheatsy doodle um, to get our, our our loot crate, essentially, and helped us uh, to where we can hopefully survive the rest of the night. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into the next day slash same day because we're pretty close to the seven days. So I wanted to show you this. Um, you can take these apart and you can get resources from them. So you got short iron pipe, I got some iron. So not bad, not bad. Um, so we are, we do have an anvil that's queuing up. Um, I'm gonna actually stop that. And then once that anvil's done, we'll see if we can queue up some more. But you can also repair with this. So if you got the materials, you can repair it just like a hammer. Um, let's see. Is there anything we want to melt down? No, we'll leave that. I'm gonna put the the munitions and such down here so I keep them separated. This I'm gonna put on my gun when I get a second. I'm gonna put the pistol stuff right here, shotgun here. This one I really want on my hunting rifle. Um, let's do this actually. Cause then I have ammo here that I have. So if I collect ammo, I'll put it there and then pistol parts there. Um, and then the completed weapon will be there. Um, I'm actually going to keep that there. Um, the pipes. Good, good. Yeah. Cause as soon as we're able to make iron arrowheads, uh, I'm scrapping these because I, I actually I use after, I want to use them up first, but I want to start creating these because that's uh, a lot more beneficial for killing zombies, and it's not like they're too expensive. And until I start getting you know some weapons going, there's really no point. All right, so max we can do is 33. That's actually really good. So let's go ahead and queue those up. Uh, that'll take some time. Uh, iron arrowhead. Oh, I think my game just crashed. No, okay, good. We're back. And we do 23 already. Awesome. But that used up all our clay. Now, if I wanted to, I could split these. So it's just creating clay right now. Clay, 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 clay. So that that's fine. That's good. Use up all of our glass uh, for those, which is fine. We don't need another anvil at the moment. Um, but once it's daylight, we'll probably go out and go after those zombies. We'll probably want to build a row of spikes until we get a place as well. I'm going to put that there because <laughs> I don't trust myself. No! Keep going! You're doing good! Another 17. Yeah, we'll, fight. we'll we'll be good with that. So, the clay can take its time. I mean, we haven't done much, and we've, we've already got a lot of resources to start making some stuff. I really want that to hurry up so I can create. So while that's doing it, I'm just going to come in here and see. So I, I could do the sort thing here, and it would just reorganize everything. Um... But we're going to use up those arrows in a little bit. Um, those we're going to move over to this guy. And we'll create a farm once we get to our home base so we can start growing these items. Um, yeah. I, I guess we're just going to wait for these guys to... Then, oh, there we go. So let's see. We got five... Add a little bit more. Let's put like 10 minutes in there and we'll just go kill up, kill some zombies here. After. Yes, that's what I want. So I'll be done in a little bit and then we can scrap that once we're done. But, uh, yeah, let's 
What the heck? Sorry, guys. <laughs> it, like, shut down for a second. That was weird. Alright, zombies. I, I'm done. Now, if you've put a hole in my house, I won't be happy. Okay, so I was right. They're just building themselves a nice little cave over here. I'm not sure why. And they just really love it. Holy cow, look at that. Oh, he, she killed him. Nice. Excellent. Alright, so let's, uh, oh, we forgot to get our drinks. It's okay. We'll just run in real quick. Because we need to get our beer and some coffee to uh, keep our stamina up. So this is kind of a, a bad spot to be in. Um, I think. But, uh, oh, we don't have much left. Let's scrap that. Let's scrap that, because we don't need that. Now we do have the grill now, so we can make some grilled meat. Um, but we don't really need it right now. No room in queue. Okay. So drink that. It's probably a little micromanaging, guys. I'm sorry. I'm gonna make uh, make some water. Oh wow! I didn't realize I had that in there. Sweet. So yeah, hey, we're doing pretty good there. Hydration and whatnot. Hello, good sir. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna do some mining of resources. My axe should be just about done. He like said I want to use those other items. Excuse me, miss. Did you uh? Did you misplace your arrow? I think you did. And you, sir. How about you? Did you misplace an arrow as well? Maybe a green one. <laughs> like, come on, dude. Like, I'm trying to give you attention. Man, zombies, they just. Oh, there's the trees I planted. They're so out of place. It's another ro roaming horn. Must have been left over from last night or something. So I think that's what happens is the roaming horde unless you take care of them, they're gonna come back. And they'll probably come back in force. And they're, they're not really all at once, but they are coming back. Oh, come on. Give me your attention, thank you. Perfect, oh, we got more beer, excellent. So I gotta be careful because I can't repair this pike. Like this, uh, um, what is it? Pickaxe. I can't repair it because I don't have steel unlocked yet, and it's more of an end game thing. So one thing I, I would do, I'm just get my uh, my stamina way down, and then I'm gonna uh, drink my coffee, get my temperature up. Um, and then I can, you know, get going again. But my stamina is not going to be degraded as much. So I'm going to just use this as much as I can until I get steel unlocked. And then once I get steel unlocked, I'll just keep combining it with ones that I can make. Um, because once I am able to make them, I thought that was something. Then I'll be able to, so like the, the 600, or almost 600 steel shovel I made, I can actually use, oh, I can make some more bacon and eggs. Get some more eggs here. Nope, eggs, eggs. 
But what I can do is that steel shell or the iron shovel I can repair. So that was actually, I wasn't thinking about it. I was like, that's actually a really good investment. As we were running away from the trader, I realized that's so much, so much more helpful than I realized because the quality and the durability level is gonna save me so much in iron that I really don't see a point to not using it. So look how, how much I'm degraded right or degraded right now. So you know that does take a lot out of you. I already searched that one. Can I search you? Yep. See how I, I get a lot more confident when I get higher ranking stuff. And I'm like, oh yeah! Level 100 bow. I got this. I no, shouldn't shouldn't get cocky like that because it honestly could go from 100 to zero, just just like that. I mean, you've seen it. Is this coal? No, it's that weird gas stuff you can make. So I don't really need this. Uh, but my my next goal is if I find another wrench, I'm gonna build. Um, it's my last coffee, guys. What? Did I? Oh, okay, so that took so much wellness away that, oh shoot, it actually hurt me as far as my health. So if you see that, it actually took one stamina bar away. So be careful how much you drink. So that could be, you know, don't drink it when there's more than one, I don't know, but you get just gotta be careful when you do it. Now, I can drink water. Was that what it was? It's, my water was down? No? I don't know if you saw that, but. Check it out, my new fire axe. So after we finish uh, a couple more rocks here. Perfect. So uh, as far as my base, I'm not, I really would like to not get too intense on it. I would like to, oh, is it search that guy? Huh. Um, I'd like to just kind of do minimal upgrades to here. And then once I um, have a little bit more, uh, once I get concrete, and steel, I'll make it you know, more permanent. So we're getting close to the seventh day. So this should allow me to pick up a tire. Got a pair of tires, cool, perfect. So we're on our way, Ugh, that's not very good. <laughs> Brown level tires, that's not good. But oh well, oh well, oh well. Um, I don't really want that. I just wanna scrap that, um, scrap. And I'm gonna keep that glass pane because I think I get a lot more that way, so. Uh, yeah. So that's what the wrench does, it helps out with that. So I get six with each hit on this one. Six or five, depending on what it is. So I, I'm gonna collect a lot more wood using this fire axe than that, you know, other axe. You know, and I've got materials where I can repair and rebuild, so that's good. Uh, but what I was saying is the wrench, I kinda want it for building stuff, but I also need a wrench to put in my workbench, but I don't get to use it after that. So the idea behind it, you know, is... Now here's one thing, look at my, sorry, I'm going all over the place here, but look at my stamina. It's not really going down that much. It spikes back up to where it was. That's because this tool is at my level. When you have a high level tool, it degrades you so much faster and you lose so much. Um, now look at that wood, I'm kicking it. Um, that, you know, it almost doesn't make it worth it, except for you do move a lot faster and you get rid of stuff a lot faster, so it might be worth it in that ma manner. Anyways, what I was saying, guys, as far as my, my base is concerned, 
this is just temporary. I mean, it's not really what I want. It's not, it's not the end game. Sadly, um, it could be better. Wow, we got skill points already. Nice. All right, we're out of stamina. So we'll give it a second. Let's actually put some points into something. So science, we do need to get up. Like I said, we want to get uh, seven to six, two rounds. You used to have to have a caliper. Now I think you can get away with it not having it. So we just need gunsmithing one more. And then seven, six, two round. Okay, perfect. So that means we'll be able to be shooting our our gun on Horde Knight. Then again, it's pretty low quality, so it's not gonna be that great. So let's go ahead and put the rest of it into... Um, let's see, can we put it into weaponsmithing? No. Health nut? Nope. Athletics. Medicine. Medicine, I actually want to put some more in there because each health kit I use will help me. Um, that's last beer. It will help me when I apply a bandage or whatever. It'll help regain health longer. And that's going to be key for the, you know, next level stuff. So right now, the next few episodes are going to be a lot of resource gathering. Uh, we might actually, you know, split it up a little bit. So we're getting close. we got two more days until day seven. Day seven is hell night. Um, but <laughs> it'll be okay because we're just going to go in town, find a place, perch up. We need as many arrows, as much ammo as we possibly can. I see the guy to my left. Um, to be able to to combat everyone. Oh, it's a girl. Never mind. And so, you know, arrows and 7.62 rounds are, are going to be key. Now, the tough thing is I can't craft those bullets outside of a working bench. So I need to get a working bench going for the day seven. So I need to go loot and find another wrench. So I think that'll actually be what we're gonna do next. Excuse me, housekeeping? Hello, have you heard? Oh your arm, I'm so sorry. Oh your other arm, I'm so sorry. Oh your head. I'm not sorry. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and get inside real quick. And I want to go over a couple more things over here. Oh wow, it's done. Alrighty, so we got some arrowheads, got some some other stuff here. We're gonna go ahead and put this iron in, and uh, we're gonna queue up. So if you right click, uh, 77 hours. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, if you right click, you can actually get a lot more going here. So let's. Get some more forged iron going. 95, let's do 80. And then we're gonna craft a bunch of arrowheads. 59, perfect. So that'll take about 10 minutes, which will be fine. Now, as far as that's concerned, we're going to make, ooh, I really wanna make that. If we're gonna be here for a little bit, I'd like one downstairs and one upstairs. Actually, we'll just, Create one for now. Yeah. Oh, let's do a honey knife. You have 27 left. All right. Um, if we got 27 left. Kind of want to build a blender bus. That's kind of fun. It's really weak sauce, but still pretty fun to use. I'm going to craft one of these doors, put it in the front. And we'll craft one more and put it up top. Because this is going to be kind of our permanent base after a while. Um, so we're just going to keep collecting these right now. So let's, let's go ahead and break this down. So once you get that off, the metal part, you can just go out with your axe. 
Now this is gonna leave me exposed a little bit, but that's okay, because I wanna put that door on, and it's, instead of like, I don't know, is that a thousand maybe? It's 2,600 um, for the first layer with that door. And we'll put another one here, because they'll have access to it, and then we'll put some spikes up, and then we'll create a way to get up. That's, see how long that takes, jeez. And it hurts my stamina, like, I, it just kills it, man. Perfect, we got our hunting knife. Perfect, all right, so let's put some of our resources away that we collected. Sham sandwich. We'll put that downstairs. Put that downstairs. Um, we're gonna put that in there. That's for us. Uh, uh, uh. And it should allow us to. I don't know why I have this in here. I'll just gonna put it in my other thing. We could throw them at the zombies. That'd be kind of cool. So eight of them we need minute 20 and then for this guy 34 so two minutes well that's plenty perfect I mean, it's pretty cool that we don't have to really focus on, I mean, our address and our food is gonna be good. I mean, we're using up our our canned goods pretty quick, but that's kind of been my focus. I, I just wanna use those up and, you know, have the other ones as reserve. So I'm curious, can I actually, I don't think I can. I think I have to have a workbench. So seven, yeah, I have to have a workbench. Which I don't think I have enough for a workbench yet. I've unlocked it, but I need 20 mechanical parts and I don't think I have that. I have seven. So we gotta go wrench some cars and, and stuff before we can um, you know, use this. Oops, let's do this. That's our bullet creation. And we'll put that. Excuse me. And we should have one more door almost done. But let's go ahead and put this one here. Whoa. Perfect, look at that. So much nicer. And they're a lot more durable too. So if we take these, let's put this in here. I wanna melt those down real quick because I don't really need them a whole lot. So one of those will get me how much glass? It'll get me 10, oh, that's nice. So let's go ahead and queue up some more glass jars. Some iron heads, arrowheads will do, what's our max? 150, 75. And then Let's stop that and then we'll do more forged iron. And those shouldn't take very long either. And now we can actually do arrowheads or bullet tips, which is pretty cool. But we'll come back for that. That will be done there. Let's place this door and I'll show you what it looks like upgraded. Now this door is, is kind of overkill. You'd want to put this at like, um, I just realized it did backwards. Yeah, it's backwards, I think. But see, 2,500, 2,500. I mean, that, that, that's ain't, that ain't going anywhere. 
Now, they'll probably break down the walls before they break down that. So the basic model, 2,500. So there's several layers of it. And you can even go up to steel. Yeah, I placed it backwards. Dang it! Because that's the outside right there. Oh, well. Just no one. No one noticed. <laughs> All right. That was bugging me. So, put the wood back here. We got plenty of stone. I'm going to leave half of it in here. Iron arrowheads. So, let's create some arrows. Oh, look at that. Just enough. Just enough. So, I mean, at least, you know, with the iron arrowheads, we'll be pretty well set. Um, with everything. So... Yeah. I mean, we just gotta use up our stone arrows and then that will be all for future and current operations. I mean, look at that, we're, we're, we're doing pretty good. Bullet tips, 160, bam. Casings, bam. So we just need to get our, um, I mean, we used up all our clay, but we're gonna put it in there in a second, as soon as that lead's done. There we go. You know, this, I mean, this is this is what you do, and you just grind. I mean, you just get all your stuff together, and you go ham. So we got more of that cooking up, too. All right, let's go cook up that water and then we'll craft all those arrows. Like I said, we'll we'll, we'll go ahead and do a, a, a loot run in the next episode because we do need more loot. I mean, you can never have too much loot, right? Now, one of the reasons I don't set these on the ground because I've stepped on it before. <laughs> so if you guys are like me and do stupid stuff sometimes, um, you might step on the ground. Ooh. Roaming horde, guys. We might go out and have some fun. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, interesting. So, a uh, group's from the left. How dare you? Take a claw hammer to your face! Don't recommend using that, but... Come on, zombies! So we gotta use up our arrow somehow. I wanna get rid of that roaming horde, because a roaming horde... Ah, shoot, come on, lady. Yeah, take it to your arm. A roam, roaming horde, I believe, can come back and haunt you since, you know, they're triggered for you and they're spawned in because you're there. Um, see, I'm not, I haven't even switched to the arrows yet. I just got normal ones for now. So I think they'll eventually come back. Let's see if we can just hunt them down a little bit. Nice. Get some. Uh, get some. 
Plus, you know, they're, they're going to have some loot that I want. Not, I guess not. Oh, I hit the girl in the back. I don't know if you heard that, but... Nice. Now, with the iron, I should be able to create... Ah, oh, shoot. Come on, dude. I should be able to create a, a different club. Oh, I went through her to him. Or, went through him to her. Now, their tracking's changed a lot, especially at night. Um, they're a lot more chaotic. Nurse! And I've noticed, like, I mean, you remember that, that one big guy that we saw? Um, he just was, like, running outside. And even though I was there, he, uh, golly. I know, I know. Because I cheated. So this is not good. If you're de being degraded like that, it usually means that you're struggling. Not struggling, but you're not doing that hot on your skills. So you want to be aware of that. I mean, I'm, I've gone from, I think I was like 100 and something down to 90 as far as my health ability. Part of it was because I died. Um, I was, you know, being all macho and had to collect that crate drop. But that's also something I probably shouldn't have done. So just keep keep in mind that you're not invincible when you play this game. Apparently, I did think I was invincible. And things can happen. You know, in hindsight, I still would have done it. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the reason reason being and in my defense I needed what was in there that stuff is so helpful early in early, early end of the game I mean the uh, the nice thing about the beaker um, there's a camp up there so the thing that a beaker does I can't create a beaker so um, I believe you need uh, let's Let's go back into town, or back to our base, and I'll show you. Um, uh, yeah, let's, let's do it, guys. I can harvest so much more with this, and I'll need it for creating fertilizer once we set up our main base. And the bones I can use uh, to create glue. So with the bones, you can create glue, which you can make duct tape when you have cloth. But that's one of the things you use your beaker for. And your beaker... I didn't think I used the blade of weapons, but I guess I do when I harvest off these guys. Interesting. But a bladed weapon, when you upgrade it, you know, it helps get that stuff. But the beaker, what I was saying, guys, about the beaker, the beaker helps you get glue, and in turn, you can get duct tape. The duct tape, you can help in creating health kits. Um, you can create a lot of different things like repair kits. Um, there's a lot of things that duct tape's used for in this game. So if you see it, don't throw it away. Unless you have the materials to make it, but it's a lot easier to just grab your duct tape than to grab the other items. Um, at least in my opinion. So you see on the bottom right, or not the bottom right, but on my hot bar, my tool is slowly degrading. The higher the quality of the tool, the slower it will degrade as you use it. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create another door and create a doorway there um, and block them off from getting in. And I'll use that as a you know safety point. Yeah, 
so we're collecting good stuff for food and stuff. Um, so we're gonna, we have to have murky water for the bones to create glue, which we don't have any as of right now. So we'll just hold off on that. Um, we should have, look at that, almost 200 arrows, which is excellent. So we'll be, we'll be well stocked for day seven, even if we can't get our bullet it's quite up to par because right now we only have seven to get a seven six two round you need one and one and then i think seven of gunpowder uh to create it so we're gonna uh, leave our shovel in here because we don't really need to carry it um and then let's go down here and see how our forge is perfect so we can probably make some more forged iron perfect I kind of want to make some regular iron. Yeah, let's just do that. Because I do want to build some... But the rest of this that melts down will create... Because um, I want to create some, some spikes around the base. Uh, specifically that front door area. Um just to help protect ourselves. I don't know what I'm doing. Where am I going? Okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, Alrighty, perfect. And then, hmm, since we're getting low on this, I might, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and move that out of there. And we're gonna create, um, an iron pickaxe. And we're gonna use that for now. Just because I'm having a hard time with getting everything done uh, the correct way. So it doesn't take that much, which is good. Um, that is a screamer. You want to take her out. Because if she... She sees you. Nope, that's not good. She only got one scream off, but she calls in a horde. She calls in a horde. Shoot, all right. You know, thankfully it's not at night right now, or else we would be screwed. Um, at night, it just gets crazy when she screams in a, a horde. I mean, you've seen it on my live stream. It just, they go ham. They're just like, hey, Oliver, nurse, uh, my boo-boo's over here. Can you fix it? Yeah, fix my boo-boo. Oh, now you got a boo-boo. Sir, I know you and the nurse, they've been, you know, fornicating in the in the woods, but it's gotta stop. There go. So, you know, there's a good thing, but that's why you wanna deal with them as soon as you can and not let them kind of build up because if you don't deal with the screamer and they just kind of build up, you will get wave and wave after horde. So that's why on you know, my main base, I've been trying to build up a um, defense system. So you could build all underground, totally fine. Um, but the part I like about being above ground is being able to come out in the morning, whatever, and see. So that's why I do like a partial underground where my forge is and everything that heats, because then if for some reason a screamer comes on, you know, comes along, um, then I can quickly just bounce um, but the forge is set so far away that when she gets attracted she won't she won't come after me she'll go after the heat source which is underground so she'll look for it and that's when bam bada bing she hits the spikes so you know that's that's the idea anyways so that's good so remind me before day seven so probably next episode we'll run and grab 
we'll get the the med kit created. Um, we're doing pretty good on everything else as far as materials. So we'll we'll go get those items. Uh, oh man, I almost want to scrap it. But once we get the materials, it'll be okay. Um, let's put this in here. I kind of want to go out to the treasure chest, but you really don't want to until you get treasure seeker level. What was it? It's treasure seeker level three, which is the max because the radius is so small and you only have a small area to look for at that point. So it's super beneficial. So I don't actually need plant fibers anymore. So that's actually going to free up one of my slots. I Let me re rephrase that. I don't really need it. Um, I don't really need that either. Because I've got forged iron and I've got wood. So as long as I keep wood on me, some of that, um, I probably should keep one of these on me. Um, so let me go hang out. Um, I'm going to bring... A f I'm going to bring two of these with me. I mean, they stack, so it doesn't matter. But just in case I die, I come back here, I can grab them. Um... And I'll bring a jar of honey. So that'll be my inventory when I go um, head hunting, so to speak. But uh, to give you an example, what I was talking about, you can take the large bone. Now, I don't need a shiv anymore because I got a honey knife, so that's good. But you can take the large bone and create glue. So it takes two to one. So you get two and you get one bottle of glue. Or if you use in the chemistry, you do the same mixture, but it's only one large bone to get a little bit better. Uh, so beaker required. Gas can, you need the beaker. And that's animal fat and grain al alcohol, which I don't plan on using. Boiled eggs. Okay, we don't need anything for that. I have used this before, and I think it hurts you. Um, it didn't really help me much when I used it. Uh, I think everything else, cooking pot. So antibiotics need the beaker. Oh, dude, we can, we can create some of those. Cause I think it's just regular water. Um, some moldy bread, which we've got four. Okay, so we're not gonna be able to create much. But there we go. Let's do it. Because then we'll have a spare on us. I didn't I didn't realize it was that easy. I don't really like having that low of arrows, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring that with me. Gosh dang it. Who invited you? Girl, stay off my porch. I didn't invite you. Glue sniffer. Huh. You know what? I don't want your mom alone, any. You stay off my lawn, girl. Tell your friends. They ain't welcome here. They ain't welcome. Tell them to come back day seven. And you, sir. I don't. I think it was a girl, actually. But you go. You stay away. And let's grab this guy real quick. Now there are wolves in this game, so yeah, keep in mind. Uh, yeah, they're pretty dangerous. Um, you can collect meat from them, which is good. The dire wolves, you can't, but that's okay. I think. I think we're good. Let's see if we can get some more bullet casings. Bullet tips. So that uses up all of our resources, which is good in there. And it's stuff that we use, so we're good there. The other thing... Did I really find this? I didn't realize that. That's cool. Um, let's go ahead and create... Oh, man. I want my money back. Once I find... The bite a book for this, I should be able to make it pretty easily. Um, but for now, forged iron because I'm going to be using it like crazy, and all that stuff's going to be 
moved up pretty quick. Uh, so I don't have any cloth. No! Come back! Bam. So, I mean, we're, we're cooking with Crisco, guys. Like, we bring that over to the trader, and we are going to be sitting pretty good. I'm going to separate this now. There we go. And then we can use that for, you know, building materials and whatnot later. I'm almost curious. Can I, can I make something armor-wise? So I can do that now. The quality is not going to be that great. I haven't learned any of these yet. S and the bucket will be great. So the barbed wire club, I'm actually going to create that and get rid of this guy. It'll be my melee lep. Excuse me, melee weapon. Crossbow, I can actually build now. But I need the uh, book for it. Oh, these two I really want. I really, 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 really want this. And then I can start building these. Spug. Okay, cool. So that's good. That's good. That's good. So I'll go ahead and put this back. Where? Oh, yeah. Much better. Scrap. And then we're going to create some glue, some duct tape. So that'll give us three more cloth, which is going to be a while. So we'll put that away. That, that, that. Cool. So we're, we're actually ready. Um, we are ready. All of our, we can actually, let's queue up some more. So I say 150 if we can. Iron Arrowheads, max 70. Hmm. So we'll do 150. Craft and then Forge Iron will go max 38. Oh, I can't. Okay, well, let's do that. That works, right? So we'll just focus on that. And then once those iron arrows are done, we'll be maxed out on our iron capacity or our arrow capacity for a while, which will be good. And then. Horde Knight comes, will be well protected. So, um, yeah, I think that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for coming out uh, to another Seven Days to Die episode. This one went a lot longer than we have uh, had originally planned for, but uh, I appreciate you guys and your support. I like playing with this game, and I enjoy creating a series. It is kind of weird, um, you know, talking to yourself during these, but. Um, it's really not as bad as, as I thought it would be. Honestly, let's play series. It's a lot of fun. Cause I get to share what I've learned from other YouTubers and just playing the game myself. So thank you so much for coming out. Be sure to drop a like on your way out. If you're new to the channel and want to start support, uh, right. You know, start supporting what I'm, you know, putting together, uh, subscribe and you know, put a little notification. I'll let you know when I'm uh, putting my next video out, but thank for now. Thank you so much for coming out and Goodbye.